They did not make any eye contact with Cruz when they came to the center of the ring for the referee's instructions. Harvey Dotty, the referee. We're going 12 rounds. Round one. This will certainly be a litmus test for Alvarez and for uh, for Cruz. This is a very important fight because these are the ones for him to stay in the hunt. He needs to win. Yeah, there's a, a lot of compelling stories in this fight, I think. Now, Cruz doesn't throw the jab a lot. He said he uses it once in a while, but he, he's more of a power puncher that will just kind of wade in and put himself in position to throw those power punches. And there you see evidence of that. Yes. A bull-like rush. Well, that was on cue, wasn't it? Alvarez much more of a stylist obviously he will use the jab to set things up and there's that nice right hook by Alvarez. He's got power in both hands. Right. Fight Shimon Alvarez getting involved in a little more, I think, of wild action on the inside than his corner would like. They want him to be a little more of a stylist from the outside, at least at the beginning of this fight. Tell you, tell you one thing he does, Ali. He leads with his head, and I, yeah. I would think a real danger in this fight with a smaller man of a headbutt. <laughs> Tough guy to fight, too. Right. He's, once he's in front of you, he's a load full. Yeah. Leo! Alvarez working the body there. He does have a very good right hook on the inside, but on the inside, you can tell how strong Cruz is. He slipped a nice little right hand in there on his way in. Straight a little right. bit low. Right. Alvarez, incidentally, has dedicated this fight to his friend Levander Johnson, who uh, tragically uh, passed away after being injured in the fight back in 2005. In the first round. Time. Cruz has had a couple of punches stray a little bit low. Did draw a warning from Harvey Doc. You see the head coming in as Cruz right, first. Right, you right, pointed right. that out, and boy, and Harvey Doc gives him a yeah. a caution for it, a warning. The other thing that uh, Shimon Alvarez sometimes does is reach with the left hand and then squares himself up a little bit. And that's a danger, certainly. There's that head again right. coming in right. under the chin. Head. The base of. And there's Alvarez counter punching as Cruz comes in. He's not, he's timed. That rush by Cruz a little better. When Cruz does rush, and I have to say, comes in with his head straight up, so he should be hittable there. Well, that's exactly what his corner was telling him between rounds. And we talked about, you know, he was facing a left-hander in Alvarez. Is putting himself in position to throw that punch, that hook, but not throwing it very well. And 
if he's going to win this fight, it's going to be by using that weapon much, much more than he is right now. See, there's that hook to the body by him when he got in position. Another one to the head. He's yeah. got to use that punch. He's got to be thinking of using that punch on a regular basis. Very close round here. Yep. Could still be decided in the last 10 seconds. fight just about as advertised. Two you know, was refreshing about the Jose Luis Cruz when we talked to him right. and he was asked about the Shane Mosley fight and he just looked and said, you know what, I just lost. Yeah. That's it. I lost. I lost to a really good fighter. That is refreshing. And you know that happens in life, doesn't it? Absolutely. And this is the guy that's only got a couple of losses and they were to the top guys. So there's that left hook downstairs by Cruz. Didn't come up with it, but up to the head. Double left hand again by Alvarez. Showing good hand speed, Shimon Alvarez is in there. Oh, caught Cruz right on the way in. Straight left hand, but Cruz undeterred. Cruz, Cruz is tough. You know, Alvarez is going to need to be shot to win throughout this fight to win it, because Cruz will keep coming. He'll keep the pressure up. Nice right by Cruz. Yeah. And Sean Alvarez is not going to have a lot of margin for error in this fight. Yeah, Cruz has slipped that lead right hand in a couple of times. There it was again. And, you know, part of the reason why he's now landing that is because he he did start using that left hook to the body and the head. It, it opens up the right hand. Right-handers think they can just throw the right hand against the left. You, you have to mix in those other weapons. Chopping left hand from Alvarez. And good right hand again by Cruz. That was a hook. He's showing the whole arsenal. He is indeed. And there was a left hook downstairs by Cruz. These are very close rounds. The last two rounds have been very, very tight. Again, there's that left hand downstairs by Cruz. Very important for him, and he is throwing that punch well. I think that right hand has been a good weapon for him in this round. He's yes. been very effective with it. Here's what you were talking about, Alvarez just scoring up. to say to Alvarez's punches than you will to Cruz's punches, so don't be fooled. There was another headbutt. Yeah, and then a right hook by Alvarez. This has been a very, very close round, but Alvarez came on in the last minute or so. You know, this is, even though he lives in this area, Shimon Alvarez has never fought in this building before, and of course this building denotes bigger fights. And clearly this is the biggest one for him thus far in his career. Squaring up to each other, throwing wild shots. Yeah. The dangerous territory for both men. And both have the ability to get the other out of there. Nice combination by Alvarez. Best of the fight. Showing us the hand speed that we know he has. A lot of his punches being caught on the gloves of Alvarez now. That was really well done by Alvarez. Three, four punches. And then he got out of there once Cruz pressed it. Okay. Box. 
Cruz likes to throw the overhand right, which, he, but he hasn't thrown that punch as much in this fight as we would have anticipated. Slipped an uppercut in there, did Cruz. Cruz is a clubbing puncher. That's the best way to put it. His technique is sometimes lacking. Moore, by the way, one of the last left-handed heavyweights That's champions. Right. There haven't been hardly any left heavyweight, uh, left-handed heavyweight champions. And that's something that Bragamoff tonight uh, is hoping to do. This is round six of a 12-round fight. That's a slip, I believe. I don't think that'll be a knockdown. Fighters, and we've seen this for so many years, but the painted portions of the ring, the perspiration gets on and become slippery. And we've seen fighters get hurt. Yeah, twist an ankle right. or have some other incident. doing a little holding on the inside as well. His technique is, Cruz's technique has degenerated a bit as this fight has gone on. He's not exactly a stylist to begin with. No, I think that's true. Maybe, maybe a little bit of desperation. Mm -hmm. Alvarez is just very effective, scoring with a high percentage of punches. How clicking his opponent. And you know, you hit on it. You know, you really hit on it. Shimon Alvarez watch is watch in head. against right. a fighter in Cruz who right. it is very difficult to Hold. look Box. as good as you'd like to. And yet, in spots, Shimon Alvarez has done a very, very good job. You can't even go to the bank in this fight on, right. on, you know, on what you think Alvarez would do against other top fighters in his division because Cruz is so difficult and awkward to fight. And I, I think you're absolutely right. He, I think he does look very good in this fight, yeah. obviously. Oh, nice left hook downstairs by Cruz. But again, a good job by Alvarez to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, he's not allowed himself to be uh, pushed against the uh, rope. Alvarez has it, which is an important point. Another good shot to the body by Cruz. You know, Alvarez has uh, sacrificed a little bit of power to land uh, more punches in the last Andrew few rounds, Frank. and that's not hasn't been a bad decision on his part. Good right hand again. Alvarez just continuing to get off first, and it's just keeping Cruz enough off balance. And that and enough of that movement that Alvarez is able to give him. You know, the welterweight division, one of the mo most intriguing in boxing right now. A lot of depth in that division. A, a really, a lot of really good fighters. And, you know, they're all going to be casting about those champions for somebody to fight in the next year or so. Although a lot of the champions making noises to fight each other. But still, a, somebody like Alvarez, assuming he would get through a fight like this, would put himself in an interesting position in another fight or two. I think so, too. And they'd like to see him step up and fight a guy like Cruz, who's been in there with some good fighters. In fact, the only guys he's lost to have been the top echelon of fighter. Well, and that's why, you know, as he goes through this fight, Alvarez will want to compare how he did against Cruz uh, to the way Shane Mosley or Sean Bay Mitchell performed, or Baldemar, Baldemir, who, of course, had a welterweight title and is still very much in the hunt for another title. 
like Antonio Margarito and Miguel Cotto and Joshua Clotty, who I think is a wild card in this division, a really, really good fighter. So uh, there's lots of intriguing matchups out there for any welterweight moving up. Good work in this round by Alvarez to both the body and the head. He's just not allowing Cruz to do what he wants to do. And now we're going to get the time out. Hey, that's the second time. Second time. Second time. Oh. Ooh, another point deducted for a low blow. Hey, that's the second oh. time. Second time. Right. Ready? I think by saying that, time he means in. one more time, Fox. and he could stop the fight. Well, we that was a good choice of words. I like that. Thank you. Diplomatic choice of words. <laughs> My next position will be at the UN. <laughs> I think that's frustration on uh, Cruz's part. I, I do too. Oh, nice right though. Wow. Best punch of yeah. the fight by Cruz. The <laughs> right. He's just trying to get Alvarez's go here. Alvarez clips him with the right hand. Cruz wants a brawl. There's no question about it. Now, if I'm Cruz, I'm not going to go to the body anytime soon. Don't even risk it. Good hook there by Cruz, but Alvarez comes back on the right hand. Now it's become a war. And that's what Cruz wants. I think it's, it's very important for Cruz to really stay on the gas here in this round. I mean, he cannot afford another 10-8 round against him. Another good right hand slipped in by Cruz. Starting to get that punch in with some regularity. Now the question is, has he done time, enough to time. win the round? So we come to round eight. And Cruz picking up where he left off here. Yeah, you know, even though he's so far behind in this fight, and we're heading into later on, what Cruz is ending up doing now is turning it into a little more stylistically what he wants. And he's landed more big punches, Barry, I think, in the last two minutes than he has in the rest of the fight. No, I agree. Now, I gave him that last round, so which would have been which would make it a 9-9 round. Mm -hmm. I think it could have gone either way, really. But stop, if, in fact, stop. the judges did see it the same way I did, uh, makes it a little closer yeah. fight. Cruz continuing to work hard here. Another nice combination, three punch combination. Now Alvarez against the ropes. Right, right. Alvarez is feeling the effect of some of these punches. And, and I thought, Alan, it started with that right hand right after the low blow. Yeah, I agree. That was that was the punch that changed things a little bit. And you know what? Alvarez is in punching range for Cruz a lot more right now. He, Cruz has started to walk through Alvarez's leads, I think. You know, Cruz is not big on technique. There's a lot left to be desired, but boy, he's a good clubbing puncher. You know, some of those punches on the inside have some pop to them. This is probably the, the best round of the fight for Cruz. Alvarez oh, left hand. He is staying right in front of Cruz, giving him the room to punch, and Cruz is doing it with both the uppercut and the left hook. Now Alvarez with a left hand of his own. The uppercut was just a little short. Cruz is getting in with those short punches on the inside. And one of those uppercuts is going to land and do some damage against Alvarez. He's close to making that happen. 
Yeah, I'm not sure I would go anywhere quite yet. <laughs> exactly. Keep him up, Simone. Keep him up. Big round for Cruz. Another sharp right hand. Still a ways to go in this fight. And you know, it's tactically changed. And there's a nice, good shots on the inside by Cruz. The right hand could have strayed low. He's got to be careful about that. But this is a whole different fight now. Uh, now Alvarez getting hit more on the inside, not moving as much, not jabbing, not popping Cruz as he comes in. And the Cruz right hand, as you just pointed out, is really getting there. It's incumbent on Shimon Alvarez to really mount something here and to turn things around. Stunda is pushing a little more than his punches. Not, not suggesting that he's dead tired yet, but not quite the pop nor the accuracy that there was. And he languishes on the inside longer now, does Alvarez, and that's when Cruz is able to land some good shots on the inside. Good right hand by Alvarez. And where's the body work gone by Alvarez? It was so effective early and now nothing. Three right hands and that backs Alvarez up. First time tonight Alvarez sought the power of Cruz. Now, there was a subtle shift in this fight before. Now it's a seismic one. Almost another low blow again. <laughs> well, if Cruz can undo it himself in, the, in any way, it'll be that way. Time, 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 time. And now there was a headbutt, and Cruz is cut over the right eye. Clash of heads. Simone, Simone. May I get the doctor in here to look? I don't know. I'm going to look at that cut. And they are going to get the doctor up to look at it. Well, we talked about that right at the get-go. We thought that was possible. Let's listen in and hear what happened. You got time? Okay. Let's move. But can't really tell exactly where that no. cut is. Might be on the, the left eyebrow. It's hard to see. Yeah, it could be. Now, Cruz continues with that assault and his right hands landing. Oh, there is, I think it's around the left eye. Yes, it is. It's just, uh, it's just hard to tell exactly where, whether it's in a place where it's going to get in to the eye or not. Again, that last right hand straight a little bit below the belt. Now, if it came from a clash of heads, which we assume they are saying, that means if they had to go to the score, uh, they would go to the scorecards if this fight was stopped. So, of course, we feel would be to Alvarez's advantage. At this juncture, probably still, despite the Cruz comeback. Oh, those Cruz right hands are getting in. Yep. Cut is worsening a little bit around the eye of Cruz. Now they're going to have some serious work to do. above the eye, more toward the bridge of the nose. So at least you would think it's not in a place where it could really cause him serious damage. Now uh, here we are heading into a juncture in the fight where there's been a pretty good comeback mounted by Jose Luis Cruz. And the tenor of this fight has changed so much, I think, that you now have to look at this fight as one that Cruz could certainly come back and win. Absolutely, because remember we talked about how close the early rounds were. So a lot of it will depend on how... <laughs> oh, wait, he was barely born then. We're, we're being born. Cruz's punches right at the moment don't seem to have quite the zip that they had earlier either. And if I'm Cruz, I've got to be honest, I'm going to be very careful of how I go to the body. 
mostly I wouldn't throw too many right hands because those are the ones that stray low for him. The hooks tend to be stay above the belt line. The last thing he wants is to be disqualified. This is a better round for Alvarez. Yep. He's doing a better job on the inside. There was another right hook at the punctuating that exchange. to do some business here because I don't think he can afford to give any rounds away. Yeah, the early part of this fight certainly probably in the favor of Alvarez and this round a pivotal one because if Alvarez is winning it, that means he has gotten a little of the momentum back. Exactly the kind of fighter you're going to use as an example to youngsters on technique. No. He is dogged in his determination. I'm not sure he won that round. I, I'm close. So we come to round 11. Building excitement as we head toward our heavyweight championship fight. Sultan Abragamov and Shannon Briggs in this fight. Shannon Briggs in this fight starting to create a little excitement as well. It's been an action fight, but a very good fight. Alvarez with combinations starting with the body and coming to the head. We haven't seen that for four or five rounds. No, I think he's found another gear. Yeah, I agree with him. City and uh, big thanks to our hosts, Caesars Atlantic City. What? Great hospitality, and of course, they've helped uh, make this turn this event into something very special. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. There's crowd on hand here at the Boardwalk Hall enjoying this and looking forward to the heavyweight championship fight still to come. Let him go, hands are free. This round, one in which Alvarez has thrown more punches than he did recently. And there's another warning for a low blow to Cruz. The movement of Alvarez has also been a key in this round. He punches, then he moves. And he wasn't doing that for about three rounds. Yeah, this round, and he started to do that in the last round, too. I think he's frustrating Cruz a little bit now. I think boxing matches that have these ebbs and flows. To me, are so interesting. This is what makes the sport really an interesting sport. You can see somebody like Cruz coming on for three or four rounds and say, oh my goodness, how is the other fighter ever going to stop that onslaught? And yet, he does. And, and now he's the one that's yep. administrating, the, administrating the damage. And as, as we say that, of course, Cruz hits him with the right hand. A lot of those are missing. Either being caught on the gloves or whistling by the ear. And Alvarez's punches are sharper. Let him go. The diversity of attack for Alvarez in this round has been much better than in even the last couple rounds, though he probably won the last round as well. And I, I think Cruz started to feel it a little bit. I, I sense that he's learned down a little. But you know what it's left in this one. Every athlete has moments in their career that they look back on. And I think that 10th round and 11th round, Shimon Alvarez in trouble is found another gear and really showed his mettle because he's an undefeated fighter on the precipice of maybe big things and it was slipping away from him and he brought it back. Absolutely he did. And it's Alvarez who's dishing it out here. Wait, wait, wait. 
David Lester. I thought he fought a, a very solid fight because as you said, he, he changed up a couple of times in this fight. You know, he did one thing early on, then another thing in the middle rounds. And then when he really had to gather himself, he did. Yeah, at a moment when it looked like tactically the fight was shifting very much in Cruz's favor, but he brought it, brought it back. Now we'll see what this round brings, but so far Alvarez has been effective here as well. And for Jose Luis Cruz, we think he may be headed toward yet another decision loss that he will look back on and say, oh, I lost to another pretty good fighter yeah. by decision, head, but, you know, head. I wish I could do some things over again. And, and as we said earlier, he's a very tough guy to look good against, and yet I, I, I feel that Shimon Alvarez has done just that. I thought he's, he's looked very good. You know, Jose Luis Cruz, with some improved technique, could really be a low fall. It's probably he might be too late in his career for all that at this juncture. Um, but what, what, what? it would make a big difference for him if he could throw his punches more effectively. At age 30, it's not so that's gonna happen. And a jab is a concept. It would, it would help a bit, yeah. Is finishing this thing with a flourish here. It's turned out to be a very entertaining and interesting fight. It really did. And a coming of age fight, I think, for a young guy out of Atlantic City here, who I think uh, has got a very bright future. I think it's all laid out in front of him here. Yeah, and he recognizes that at age 30, uh, with that extensive amateur career, and then he's 18 some pro fight, he's at the stage now where he needs to make a move. And he hopes that this win might. Uh, he said that could slingshot him ahead and then he could get catapulted into the future. That's exactly right. It sounds like a renaissance fair. <laughs> well, I think it says something about he and his management team taking this fight in the first place because absolutely you know right. this is a quantum step up in, in caliber of opponent and this is a guy that could have beat him. And for a while it looked like he was headed in that direction. Now we're assuming Shimon Alvarez has done enough to win this this uh, decision. We may be proven wrong by the judges, but that's the way we see it. Well, I thought he won the last three rounds after being in some danger. We'll see how the judges see it. Ladies and gentlemen from Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, after 12 rounds of championship boxing, we go to the scorecards. Judge Lawrence Layton scores about 116-110. Judge Hilton Whitaker scores about 119-108, and Judge John Riley scores about 117-109. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the new NABO welterweight champion, Shimon the 